Welcome to Brought to you by Smug Mug, Flickr, and This Week in Photo. Today, we are thrilled to be joined by a panel of distinguished experts, each a titan in photography and digital art. Together with our fantastic moderator, Frederick Van Johnson, the force behind the influential This Week in Photo podcast, they will dive into a wonderfully confusing and sometimes terrifying exercise where they attempt to spot real photographs mixed in with AI-generated imagery. First, let's welcome our co-host, Renee Robin, a virtuoso in blending photography with digital artistry, renowned for erasing the lines between reality and fantasy. Renee's collaborations with top industry players and her digital arts insight have earned her international acclaim. She joins us to share her unique insights. Also joining us today is the extraordinary Bella Kotek, whose award-winning work weaves together fine art, fashion, and a touch of enchantment. As an ambassador for prestigious photographic brands and a familiar face on platforms like BBC One's Extraordinary Portraits, Bella's photography is a narrative-rich tapestry that captivates and inspires. And we are also privileged to have Pratik Nayik on our panel. A master retoucher and digital artist, Pratik's work has reshaped fashion and beauty photography standards. As the owner of Solstice Retouch and a seasoned Photoshop educator, he brings two decades of expertise to our discussion, championing the natural beauty in his subjects. Last but not least, we welcome Irene Rudnick. Irene's romantic and creative portrayal of femininity sets her photography apart. A Canon Canada ambassador and a mentor through her popular YouTube channel, Irene exemplifies the artist's role in capturing and sharing the world's inherent beauty. Please welcome our panel of experts as they embark on an enlightening exploration of authenticity in photography. That entire sequence, aside from the editing, which I did in Final Cut, on an iPad was done using 11 labs for the voiceover and for the script was ChatGPT that synthesized these the, our panelists' bios from their site into an introduction script. And then I copy edited it, put it all together, overlaid their portfolio images, and boom, there you go, an intro in two minutes, which would have taken us probably 15 10 to 15 minutes if we had done it live. So that was the purpose of that so that we could get to this conversation quicker and have a discussion with these wonderful people that are on the stage whom I should, they, I think they're all unmuted. So everybody make sure you're unmuted and let's dive into this conversation. You've all been introduced. What'd you guys think of that intro? What'd you think of the, the magic of AI describing you, or would it have been better had I done it live, which is what I normally do. I'm curious. I, I think it would be better if you did it live, to be honest with you. Yeah. Because it's an yeah. engagement factor that's still missing, you know, that yeah. human element that I feel is connects with people. That's what I heard. Yeah. See, I disagree because I thought it looked really nice and really professional and I do like that it's like straight to the point, like you said, and it's quick. Mm -hmm. Um, I personally like it. I would prefer that over like doing over all of our introductions one by one. I think so. Yeah. It's more efficient. It's I more want efficient. the human voice. I think if we had oh. the, the cleanliness of the presentation with a human voice, that would have been perfect. Yeah. yeah, I think it's I think it's the 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 tonality of the voice that throws me off, but I also know yeah. that that's gonna be one update away. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god yeah, know. yeah you should see those voices it's crazy it is crazy um, bella bella what do you think oh i thought the same it sounded like a robot still like you could still but yeah renee is absolutely right we're literally one update away from being introduced by scarlett johansson <laughs> exactly right. yeah yeah or david attenborough yeah yes. yeah yeah <laughs> david attenborough david. please yeah <laughs> may he live forever <laughs> here's the renee in her native habitat yeah. <laughs> No, it's good. I think it's it's based. it's great for a number of reasons. For for the reasons that we used it today, it was appropriate, obviously, for the context of this conversation, but also just as a glimpse into what's possible. I get excited about those kinds of technologies because of the barriers that they remove for people, right? Not only for for me in this context, it was like, hey, I just gave us 10 minutes back for discussion, but for people that are a, afraid to be on camera, but still have a message that they want to get out to the world, you know, orally versus written, um, or any number of uses, it just opens up a ton of things. And not to mention, 
like we were talking about in the green room before we started this, that 11 labs, and I'm sure a bunch of others are doing things where you can train your voice, obviously. So I can have my train my voice in there, but then I can have my voice speak in different languages. For example, I did some tests in Japanese, which m with my voice speaking Japanese, and I ran it through some native Japanese speakers and they were like, you sound very professional and very educated. Mm. And I was like, wow, that's good. Yeah. I use that all the time. <laughs> I think that is interesting because I remember when I just started doing YouTube and that was me just freshly coming to Canada. So my English was not perfect. And maybe, you know, I was just hard on myself, but uh, I was a little bit insecure about speaking so much on camera. So maybe that would be also like another, you know, it would be a useful tool for someone who's maybe you know, maybe has like a really strong accent, like, you know, like right. I had when I just came here, right? Or just insecure about their voice and the way it sounds or things like that. Yeah. yeah. I think or be... incapacitated in some way and can't speak, but right. still need to get their message out to the world. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So much, so much positivity and, you know, not so positivity as we're, we're going to discuss in this, this webinar. One of the things I did want to make, or a couple of things I want to do before we kick it off is some housekeeping. So this is a webinar format. So if, if the audience has questions that you'd like to throw in there, please use that Q and A button at the bottom and throw your questions in there. And towards the end, we will get to those. So make sure you kind of interject what you want to say as we go through this. This this is an this is like a two hour long webinar packed into a one hour space. So you know we may have to do another one. Hint hint, Renee. But yeah. you know, <laughs> keep 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 that in mind as we kind of keep it fast, but not too fast. So Renee, you've already been introduced by the AI Renee mm -hmm. Robin Renee Robin uh, <laughs> dot com. And uh, most folks, I think, on this webinar may have heard of you or, or everyone here and your work, but just a little behind the scenes is why we put this thing together. And it was at, at one of our TWIP meetings, which of which you're a member, Renee, you popped in and we were doing the kind of a, a spot the AI exercise informally. It's a bunch of random images that I put, pulled together, but you had the, the brilliant idea of formalizing it, making a real gallery with images pulled together by someone who knows how to spot the differences and then assembling kind of an Avengers cast of people to, to talk about them and see if they can't find the Where's Waldo in the sea of AI. So thank you for doing that. What yeah, was your, Renee, what, what was your motivation for doing this? And, and how do you feel? Let's kick off the conversation. How do you feel about this whole world uh, and how it's changing and how it's affecting your work as a photographer and a compositing artist? I mean, in a lot of ways, it's it's definitely wiped out a lot of my work. Like the, like the, the $500 to $1,500 range, like that work is just gone right now, yeah. um, which is fine. I mean, that that is the nature of business is that things evolve and all of a sudden you're going like, oh shit, now what? <laughs> mm -hmm, um, mm -hmm. But I mean, from there... I think I am like, I think it's a healthy place to be, which is like one foot and super excited and one foot and absolutely terrified. But I think that the reason mm -hmm. why I wanted to do this was like, you know, when we, when we did that, the images, you know, I was the only person to get all of them right in a room full of photographers. And I was like, okay, there is like, obviously a conversation here that we need to have about how to spot this stuff, how to train our eyes to see it. Because if even photographers who are shooting quite often, are getting 50% or less correct, um, the, we need to start having these conversations and start teaching people how to think critically when it comes to images. And so what I did was I went and I found a bunch of images and some of them I can't tell. <laughs> so I'm really curious <laughs> to see what our panelists say and what they think. I want to see what folks are saying in the chat as well. And yeah, so the chat's to, turned kudos. off right now, um, Frederick, by the oh, way. Oh, it is. It is. Uh, yes, general yes. chat, Let if you want to turn that on, that'd be great. Um, Let me see if I can turn it on. Yeah, or we're, we're vamping. Here. I just had a question um, come in. Yeah, yeah. And Pratik, I want to give you special kudos uh, because you are probably one of the main reasons why my interest in AI accelerated. Just seeing the work that you're doing, it's and you success. got tutorials <laughs> out there, and you're no seriously. And all, all, all due respect, you are you are one of the voices that are talking about this stuff, right? And the reality of it and what's happening and how it's happening. Mm -hmm. And like me, I think yeah. are, you know, not, I wouldn't say irrationally exuberant, but cautiously optimistic yeah. about what the future yeah. may bring for this stuff. And, you know, and of course, being aware of the negatives as well, like Renee said, it is in many industries are shaken in their boots. You know, look at the VO industry, look at that, the, the intro I did. The VO yeah. industry is probably like, you know, 
And we probably could have made a couple hundred dollars yeah. on Frederick had he not used 11 laps, right? Absolutely. So right. But thank you. Thank you for that. Any, any, you know, I'll just sort of set the stage words on AI and your perception um, on this whole space. Yeah, you know, I think I started talking about this a couple of years ago. And at the time that I started talking about it, everyone was rightfully so had differing opinions and fears, hope, all these emotions going through them and they would express themselves. But I come from a perspective of I want to be um, educated on a matter so that I know how to adapt to something. I always work better under higher pressure, pressure situations. So when I saw this like threat or opportunity come before us, I was like, well, you know, I don't have time to really freak out right now because I want to learn what this is first and then be able to decide how to, you know, change things up. So my goal is always talk about it as much as possible, whether it's good, whether it's bad, so people can be educated and then make the best decision with how they want to use the tools or, or you know, take advantage of them. Yeah. Yeah. And Bella, you know, you're, I'm, I'm curious to get your opinion because you're, 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 you and I spoke many years ago. I had you on this week in photo. We did an interview. And back then I was blown away by the caliber. And I think it was more of the, more of the, and I, as I remember this, I think at the time there was this whole conversation going about people finding their personal style in photography and what's your look, what's your genre and all that. And it just, mm -hmm. it just surprised me at how, focused your work is right and you know, not not so much that it's pigeonholed or anything but it's just like you can tell a bella kotak photo when you look at it or at least kind of say oh that kind of looks like something bella would do right so you know how mm -hmm. do you feel about all this how do you feel about this new world of robots might right now might be looking at your, your portfolio taking notes of yeah i could probably create something like that and then re giving your recipe to everyone to generate bella kotak esque images on a whim. What do, what do you think about that world? Gosh, um, so actually I believe my name was one of the um, artists that Midjourney used in their development phase. So <laughs> <Ooh>. <laughs> it yeah. came out. So when Midjourney first came out last year and everybody was talking about the ethical and um, all of those topics surrounding like, you know, ethics of photography and where are they sourcing all of these this information from? And then a list of artists was released and my name was included among them. And I actually then went into, and that actually was what got me into mid journey. I was like, oh, well, if you're using my name, let's see what's happening over here. And so I checked in, um, started typing into mid journey, like a bunch of prompts about portraits and flowers. And then I typed in like a prompt, something similar to show me a portrait of a girl, you know, in a field. And then I was like, show me a portrait of a girl in a field in the style of Bella Kotak. And those are two completely different images. So yeah, I literally was like, this is fascinating because now it's making this uh, mid journey generator one year on or just over a year on now. Um, oh my gosh, it's making way, way better images than I have. <laughs> and it's yeah. fascinating because actually what's happened is that I thought, oh, so this is what's possible in my art then. Because if you try and like take a positive spin about it, because you can't stop and halt what's already happened. It's already, you know, the ship has already sailed. Um, so in the end, I ended up actually just making a whole Instagram just for my AI generated art and I thought let me explore and use what you know information has already been sucked into this uh model and see what it can create that can inspire not just me but also my whole community um yeah. to better them and better our own skill set because at the end of the day there's only a certain amount of pleasure that you can get from generating art and there's a certain there's a totally different pleasure you can get from creating it by hand and having 100%. complete control of their whole creative process. And uh, and people can also see that as well. Like it's reflected in the energy that you get back from other people. Um, so yeah, I have a few thoughts, but that's just like very likely, like the sprinkle. Yeah. And no one knows, topic. right? That's that's the thing. You know, I, Irene, how do you, how do you feel about this, this whole yeah. world? Are you excited or terrified? Um, so for me, I'm kind of taking it as just the next a different step in photography, similar to, you know, when photography was just introduced, you know, before that people were just painting images of other people, right? And so then photography was introduced, and there was a lot of 
negative and positive, right? Some people thought, well, now no one's going to want to paint anymore because now everyone's going to just take pictures because that's easier. They thought that it's not really art because it is so easy. You just click a button and do, you know, things, right? Then like when photography moved from like film to dig digital, that was another like big event in photography right where again people were divided between should we stay with film digital is not as good as film and, and all these things and now uh, we are moving into use of ai and for me uh it's kind of like bella said it's inevitable right like it's already here we already are using it so i'm just focusing more on how can i integrate it in my workflow to make my life easier so for me it's been stuff like using editing software uh, that will do certain AI, that has certain AI tools like skin retouch or, you know, like generative fill in Photoshop, or again, incorporating like chat GPT in my business. Uh, so yeah, I'm just trying to figure out how to use it in my business that makes it just easier for me. But I'm personally not so much interested in just fully generating images, right? Like Bella said, I do really love creating my images from start to finish. So I don't think just generating an image in like mid journey or any other software will be, will ever like be the same for me. So I will still yeah. forever always take just pictures and create art myself. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you. And one, one of the more, I don't know, I guess in C Hideous ways that that this is affecting me personally, I think, is I'm questioning all art now, right? Even as a consumer of all of your work, when I look at a work, you know, not even knowing who created it, but when I look at it, I'm like, is it real or has AI created that, right? Which is disingenuous to the photographer, right? Because oh it's or the creator. I've been getting so many comments recently on my work, especially, you know, my YouTube and my Instagram, I mostly have uh, people follow me who are photographers, but on other platforms, let's say something like TikTok, if a video gets uh, more uh, views, so it's uh, being shown to just random people who don't know much about photography, I've been getting a lot of comments saying like, it looks like AI, or this is not real, this is AI. And I don't even know if I should take it as a compliment or not a compliment um but yes so that's why it's another reason why this live stream is important this topic is important mm -hmm. right just being able yeah. to understand what is real and what is but also at the same time my images are highly edited so you know i don't even know if i can classify them as very real you know it's another right. like little that's a whole that's other true. question like where if you if you are anti ai where do you draw the line is it do you draw the line at generative ai do they draw the line at using autofocus and facial recognition in your camera do you draw the line at the computer calculating exposure for you or you know there's a lot of lines in yeah. there right yeah so um well, let's dive in because you know, part of this and part of the takeaway that I want hopefully all of us to have and the audience to have at the end of this is like Renee was saying at the beginning, at least some of the tools to know what some of the, the indicators are to spot AI Im images uh, as they float around, which, you know, by the way, may change by the end of this webinar. <laughs> so we don't know. Yes. So Renee, Renee, you have yeah. a, you have a gallery. That I do. Yeah. I have a massive gallery that we're not going to have time to go through everything because to be honest, everyone would fall asleep. But, yeah, yeah. uh, <laughs> I and do were you have... going to share this gallery publicly after this is done so people can go through it or are we yeah. going to share it that way? Yeah. So, yeah. um, my plan, I did plan on having this all up in a blog for everyone to access really easily and it's not quite done yet, but it will be done by this evening. So, um, I'll just put a link, uh, in the YouTube comments when that's all done. Cause there's a lot of images and I got to make sure I mark which ones are, <laughs> which ones yeah. are which. And accurately. I'll share it out too. Yeah. We'll yeah, share yeah. it yeah. out. We'll put the link in the, the replay post for this. It'll be everywhere. Yeah. You'll, you'll be able to find it. Yeah. yeah so exactly. share, share your screen with the, with the folks. All right. Let's see what let's we got see here. <laughs> so these are some of our images that I have here and I have a whole bunch. They're all real. <laughs> <laughs> and it's about 50, 50. Uh, yeah. what is real and what is AI? Yeah, all right. Okay. So we're going to start, we're going to start really, <laughs> really easily here and, uh, go with something like this. Well, that's and AI, say, obviously. Yeah. hundred <laughs> percent. Yeah. Yeah. 
Okay, so what I want to do is I want to I want to I want you to describe why this is AI. I mean, for me, the reason that this is AI mm -hmm. um, is okay. that this location doesn't exist anywhere. Um, you know, the speckling doesn't quite make sense. These flowers would probably be long destroyed by the ocean. Like yeah. those are mm -hmm. the things that make this AI for me. But I'm curious what you guys think yeah. because I've seen photos like this online and people go, "Oh my God, where is that location?" You're like, "It's, it's <laughs> nowhere, dude." <laughs> yeah, good point. Where? <laughs> Who wants it? it How do we do this? Just I'll jump in. Go. Go first. Yeah, let's yeah, just whatever. go around. Just yeah, just just keep okay. it random. Dive in. Yeah. Let's have a yeah. conversation. Yeah. Keep it For like me, it's short. the physics of it all. Like the waves hitting the rocks, it just doesn't you know explode the same way as you expect water to at this certain time. Um, obviously the same elements that Renee mentioned about the flowers. Also, the other thing is things like light rays, like the the sun peeking out the corner there. I would expect more of a, you know, we, we're all used to seeing what it looks like in camera. And then also colors, you know, the color, yeah, there's a specific color palette that is indicative of a specific camera type or that we're used to seeing, even though we don't know how to explain it, we visually recognize it. Those for me are the biggest takeaways. Cool. Well, I'm going to hop to the next image and then, uh, mm -hmm. Bella, you can give your feedback on this one. Unless, so if it comes up and you happen to know either the AI creator or the uh, photographer or painter okay. or digital artist who did it, just say pass. And then we'll go to the next person who doesn't know. Yeah. So and let okay. it, let it stay up there for a beat, Renee. I want the chat yeah. to chime in on this too. So chat, yeah. if you, when an image comes up on the screen like this one, if you think it is, if, if you think it is AI, put an AI or a robot emoji in the chat. If you think it's real, put a human emoji in the chat. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. We'll see. <laughs> we'll see. Oh, Okay, so we've got a couple. And take your take your AI. screens full screen, by the way, audience. If you're you know yeah. to, to get the most out of this, go take Zoom full screen if you can. Uh, if you're on a desktop or a, a laptop, um, that way you can see all the pixels. Oh. Sorry, Renee. Okay, I think this one is real. Yeah, why do you think this one's real? This one, first of all, I'm looking at the reflection of the uh of the candles and they seem to match up also i was looking at the frame because it has a lot of texture in it and i was trying to figure out if there is any inconsistencies but i think you can see the same pattern in the frame that is repeated because ai a lot of the times if there is texture and stuff like that it will be very inconsistent um and also just like the sharpness of it obviously it's like a very artistic you know we had probably someone body paint the model and there's like uh, some editing done but i think this is still like a, a real image like a very stylistic but real image cool. yeah. any other opinions on this one i know like the yeah. artist so I feel yeah like yeah I so this answer. one this one is real so uh, anybody mm -hmm. saying that the hands don't look right? Well, the hands are the real hands, so. <laughs> no hand shaming here, okay? Yeah, yeah, no hand shaming. <laughs> here, no hand shaming. And the other, the other thing about that photo was that, um, basically, the imperfections of the backdrop give it away, because yeah. Midjourney currently doesn't use the same type of imperfections, and we know what the imperfections yeah. would look like stapling mm -hmm. backdrops, and Midjourney doesn't know that yet. Yeah. Yeah, it's it's learning, it's learning, but it doesn't know it yet. Yeah, my journey's too tiny. It's listening right now. Yeah, I know. It's just data farming this conversation. This one is tricky. Uh -huh. <laughs> yeah, I think this um, one's a bit trickier. Uh, I do still think it's real, <sighs> but it's tricky. Like it looks like a very old image. Like me, it's taken on film or something. But uh -huh. AI is really, really good at skin? replicating them. Yeah, the skin. That's why I think it's real. Yeah, I think it's real too. I'm, but it's I'm that one is on con very say, confusing. I want to say fake. It has like weird kind of uh, blurriness I'm that goes in now, but uh -huh. but it looks like correct kind of blurriness if it was taken is on a very though? old, a no, very old I don't camera think so, and lens. Because the where's in the, the back, focal plane in this? Yeah, um, just it's... one the eye that's on the right, and then the rest kind of goes. It could, there are some like very old lenses that are extremely, you know, like the depth yeah, of field calling. could be like that. I'm, I don't know. That one is scary, but I will say real. <laughs> I will say real. I'm saying AI. And also I'm the hair, AI. the way, yeah. And also lips, you usually see lip, a bit of like um, the lines in the middle and the creases and stuff a little bit more prominent. 
Fantastic but also, point. okay, I will say I still think it's real because of the regalia that the model is wearing. Because I was photographing mm-hmm. uh, a native model like uh, like two years ago, and it does look correct. Because I feel like AI would probably mess it up and create something weird. That's true too. You know what I mean? And this does look yeah. like like a real regalia to me. But I, mm. it's it's very tricky though. I could be wrong, but I will stick with real. <laughs> Bella. Mm. I'm going to stick with real, although um, somebody did mention a very good point, saying that both I seem sharp, which seems incorrect, but I still think I might stick with real, just me, because of the skin texture. I think the focus is not right. There's something wrong. doesn't match up with the focus, like you said. Focal plane's That's off, it. but it could also be a lens that does that, you know, because you mm-hmm. do have That's a true. tilt shift and stuff, but and also depth of field. But I like Irene's points as well. The regalia is really nice. Okay, let's see. All right, so this is real, and it is shot. No, it is shot on a silver plate. Actually, it's I a wet mean, plate. That's what uh, it yeah. was giving it's silver like, plate like vibes. Oh, yeah, photography. Because yeah. you see the silver plate photography. <laughs> the silver plate photography will be shot on like a large format, yeah. old yeah. school cameras, and they will give you that crazy depth of field. I think they just kind of missed the focus a tiny bit because you can see the skin on the forehead here is what's the most sharp. It's also so, a very long exposure. So I yes, know the yes. photographer who does these, and um, he actually he's, he's, his work is in museums everywhere. He's uh, very 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 talented and photographs yeah. um, indigenous portraits and does just stunning work. But uh, mm-hmm. yeah, I a... had to include his stuff because I was like, I wonder how well we'll know. Wow. <laughs> it was so a tricky. good one to include. I think the skin yeah. was definitely the giveaway for me because Mid Journey has this thing where even though it's trying right now to get good skin, um, it, it's still not realistic. There's still, it, the, the skin on Mid Journey mm. still the looks Mid-Journey... very like, pristine. Exactly, mm-hmm. exactly. It doesn't really do any like imperfect skin. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like the no. real like perfect. It doesn't even do skin. imperfect people. Yes. Everybody on mid-journey is just like generated beautiful. It's like <laughs> the information <laughs> that that model is working on is a whole conversation that we need to have, especially there. when it comes to diversity and people of color. Yeah. Uh, mm-hmm. This well, image is like extremely AI. Like that one. Yeah. 100%. yeah. That was definitely one. AI. But yeah. and why, why though? Why? Let's see why. Yeah. Um, you can't just say like the look <clears throat> for so for me first of all i've seen tons of these images of screaming people i don't know if you've seen those like horror images of people eating <laughs> mm-hmm. pasta and like screaming and like <laughs> laughing um so that's that's just like i don't know why my journey likes that look of yeah. the screaming laughing photos people. of that yes I think for me the thing that ruins it is the hair the hair just looks like glibity glor, but it looks like pasta noodles. So the that's teeth. something. Yeah. The teeth yeah. are messed up for sure. Like the bottom um, teeth, especially. Yeah, they're very bizarre. Yeah. Yeah. He's got molars <laughs> that come around the front. <laughs> there's something yeah. about that oh fist God. in the back, though. The, the yeah. Weird yeah. fist in the air that is yeah. not this one right. here, It's like super yeah. long. Yeah. 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 I know this one. For me, it was the these... tongue texture. I see so many of these. I was thinking like... about that tongue texture. <laughs> Yeah, because typically around. tongue isn't perfectly pink all the way out especially yeah. no, when you're photographing unless they're shockingly healthy which none of us are <laughs> yeah <laughs> <laughs> then they're mouth model <laughs> yeah um oh yeah by the way the, the uh, it just looks too perfect is, i think I that's me- it i meant to mention this uh this photographer is shane balkowitz Balco- Balco- and i'm sorry shane if i'm mispronouncing it oh. i've only ever read it uh, but yeah, this is AI as hell. Wow. So yeah. Wow. Shane, you have a new fan. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. I'll um I'll make sure that there's links for everyone, all the photographers and the prompt uh prompt artists, uh, or whatever the term is these days. I don't I can't keep up. Um I'll make sure that there's links yeah. for everyone so that if you guys want to follow their work, you can check it out. Mm. That's oh, real. I would say real. Real. Yeah, that's <laughs> a very real picture. It yeah. has yeah. a specularity to it, and you can tell the skin tones just look real usually images have an uncanny valley aspect you don't know why but you're figuring out why as you look at it with this one oh. even the little you know the shadows right next to the lip and there's like little crease lines that are super subtle mm-hmm. with super subtle shadow lines under the eyes it's just it just matches perfectly yeah for me the, the, pattern in the, sweater, the pattern in the sweater if this was rendered in in the current versions, uh-huh. and again um there's 
particularly we were just talking about how there's a new version of comfy UI that just came up for stable diffusion this morning. And so I wasn't able to include anything mm. from that. But uh, if we do this again, I will probably do so. But I don't know if any of the AI programs can repeat this type of pattern that correctly. No. And so when you're trying to call out whether something is AI or not, definitely look at the patterning in the clothing because that is a really big hint. The hair as well, like the little flyaways, you know, yeah. and mm -hmm. the eyebrows to me, you know, I, I can tell that they're not perfect. And yeah, yeah, yeah. Every, yeah. Mm -hmm. Realistic imperfection. Speaking yep, exactly. of, right? Yep. Oh, I think this, this is, is AI. Yeah, I think. Yeah, I see no, too. I... Yeah, AI. <laughs> My initial, oh, wait a minute. I think it's real, but it it looks this looks like one of those images that AI takes and tries to imitate. You know what I mean? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, yes. so I think it's still real. Like her neck. Yeah, I think it's real. The hair to the me neck looks color. real. And the and the hair underneath her upper her bottom lip. I think you're uh -huh, right. The I think tiny it's little hair right here. Yeah. yeah. I was looking yeah. at that. Yeah. 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 Mm -hmm. It's real. Yeah. Yeah. It's yeah. real, but I it like looks like. Disappointed. Yes, yes, no. It's uh, real. It's real. <laughs> yeah. Uh -oh. Wait before you reveal it. <gasps> no. Wait, wait, don't can say you zoom into the face? Zoom in. Can you zoom in on the you, eyes yes, a little bit? Can we zoom in? Details. Yeah. Let's get yeah. a, a yeah. detailed look. I'm oh, I'm gonna state. say. I'm gonna say. Ah, uh, man, Who's this is tough. Real? No, I think it's real. It's a I'm tiny hair. It's real. It's real. But AI it's knows real. that. It knows, you know, people with this kind of hair like might have these kinds of features. Right? Stuff like that. I mean, the iris is a little know. wonky, but that could be from a person like editing it and like kind of yeah. making it a little wonky. So I oh, would. Oh, shit. You can see the I iris is a right. little wonky. Oh, right. Yeah. You yeah. Like... I think it's a. So I don't. Yeah, I think I... it's real. The skin texture, everything. I think it's real. Oh wait, yeah, it, I'm, I'm gonna, gonna say. say because of the eye alone, I'm gonna say it's fake. <laughs> the eye is the only thing that is confusing yes, the... me because the rest yes. is very real. But I will say that I've done this before, like when I uh, I used to edit my images a little bit more, like fairy tale ish and i would make eyes bigger and sometimes it would mess up the iris if i wasn't careful enough so it could be just like a little error of editing but it could be both i will mm. still stick to real right now but it very much could be ai because of the iris so it's like almost like 50 50 but i'm leaning more towards real yeah Alrighty, so down. this one was made by a member of our chat right now, Stefan, and this is Stable Diffusion. <gasps> the no! iris! Oh, oh, is, it's the new update <laughs> that's that you so this isn't the, scary. This is the previous I one. Was, yeah. I was genuinely convinced it was real. Yeah. The Oof. the only Oof. giveaway for me, I'll be honest with you, is let me let me explain. Let me try to explain this. So the initial reaction was AI because. Typically, when you see texture, it relates to how the scattering of color is under the skin. So like, yeah, for example, when someone goes too far in frequency separation, the subsurface smoothing and how crisp the texture is doesn't line up. So you have this uncanny valley effect. And it's the same effect that the initial reaction has for this, because under the texture, it looks the tone, the brightness and darkness of the skin doesn't match up with the texture 100%. Mm -hmm. But everything else is perfect. Yeah, everything mm -hmm. is perfect. Yeah. So, so, so like, this is the new update that you guys no, were talking about. This is not no. the new update. No. This is the previous oh my one. God. To be yeah. fair, though, I don't know if it's a new update that came out today, but the images I saw today from someone using comfy UI was yeah. dramatically yeah. incredible. Yeah. So, really? Stefan, if you're still in here, nice work. Um, oh, and, good job. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Um, no, that, that would fool me for sure. If I saw this on Instagram, especially in like low, I never qual know. like res, you know what I mean? And yeah. obviously, I'm not like mm -hmm. looking at Iris mm -hmm. at every single picture. Right. So, I would definitely think that was real. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. That's that is that is bonkers that we are having so much trouble with that particular image. Cause I wonder, and I don't even know if we're there yet. Maybe you guys know to the point where we can reliably replicate the same person in different situations to a, to a high degree of real realism. Cause when that happens, like what, <laughs> yeah. because now you can yes. create, you could create an entire influencer from scratch. Oh, with it's already voice, happening. Um, with yeah, the Shane, video, everything. Done it, yeah. Shane, really? Shane, <sighs> the uh, indigenous photographer, has done an amazing series that you can watch and read on um, uh, the fake 
Instagram profiles of people who aren't even real. Uh, he even got an interview with one. So yeah, wow. it's crazy. Okay. <laughs> Fill me yeah. in later. I'm, I'm, yeah. I'm going to talk about that. Okay. Yeah, for sure. Continue. All righty. So this one here, real or fake? Oh. Um, I'm going to say fake. I've never been to a Waffle House this pretty. <laughs> <laughs> Right. And this could have been done in infrared for the folks Dark. that aren't familiar yes. with sort of infrared. It, right? I mean, right, so those lamps look kind of turning. Weird. Something about the barn is throwing me off back there. Yeah. The, yeah. And, the and also the lights inside the Waffle House. Yeah. The zoom in on the motorcycles. Yeah. Uh, machines are. On this one. I oh, you can't. Uh, I can, uh, like, okay. kind of, but it's just going to get super blurry. Yeah. I mean, okay. the, yeah, to me, can, the lamps. Yeah, even it's blurry, so you can make out the shape. To me, like yeah. the lamps inside the Waffle House look a little weird. Like that's there's a lot of them. It seems like, right? Yeah. Usually, yeah. Um, yeah. That's like true. Quite a lot of lamps. Yeah, I, I would. And say there's that something this is... with those motorcycles. Look at the front yeah. tires and on the, the lamps, motorcycles. The lamps yeah. are oblong as well. The iris effect. Oh. It has. Yeah, it there I'm gonna say AI. Yeah, we'll say AI. AI. Yeah. Yeah. There's. Way too many uh, beautiful trees. Like that's not a reality. <laughs> <laughs> Around a Waffle House, you're like, no way. <laughs> um, this is yeah. Texas, guys. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, so this this is real, and this is also also film. Uh, this is shot right. by, Gr by Green. Uh, Green. What? <laughs> oh man. Uh, where, where is, is this Waffle House? It's in. I want to go to the Waffle House. <laughs> I will say I'm still confused by the lamps inside. How many lamps are there? Are they like reflecting yeah. off or like No, that's just that's literally they, it. This, this guy doesn't edit. Lamps. This dude does everything in camera oh, and it's all film, so mm. Oh reality. Yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> what if I what will, if I will the whole say, purpose though, of today Oh, sorry, is reality ahead, is AI. It's like all the same. Yeah, right. <laughs> right? Hey, simulation theory critique. <laughs> Okay, this one is that real. That is the prettiest Waffle House. That please let this be real. <laughs> no, that's real for sure. That's real. Like right. in the eyes, Asked. the reflection, I think, makes sense. Like the it's the snow. You can see it, right? Um yeah. 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 All the little details yeah. match up. Expression. I would say it's real. Yeah. So Even I'm the so bit of sure that it's AI. I'm gonna say that it's real. <laughs> <laughs> you think this no. one's AI? Chad Bella? thinks it's real. <laughs> I so. have I just have to go I'll... the opposite way now, it seems, to what I initially think. <laughs> yeah. You originally you originally thought this was you originally thought this was AI. Mm. Interesting. That's so fun. Why? I love that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, why did you why did it... your gut instinct say AI? It just I don't know, it was like honestly, probably the texture of his skin and everything just seemed a bit too I don't know, tidy oh. to be real. You think his skin is too good too yeah. detailed like for his age yeah. like he shouldn't have that good of a skin like his eye bags underneath <laughs> don't have the same it just it just doesn't oh, feel like no. the budget off. it doesn't it feels like it's a generator it's because yeah. he's not so. white you know so they don't crack as much so that's why his skin is <laughs> <Yeah>. still great <laughs> but i would say look <laughs> at the look at the it jacket is... there's little eyelets there on the jackets you know what i mean like yes. on the hood yes. and they're oh, very yes, real yes. to me and I feel oh. like a generated image yes. maybe would not have that on the hood, those little two eyelets. So uh, in my, and for me, like the eyes, a lot of the times will reflect, like we'll, you know, I will always look at the eyes, like the iris, the reflection in the eye to see if it matches up with like the real light that's mm. there. Like this is obviously just outdoor natural light and I can see uh, the snow, like it's reflecting in his eye, like the whole scene. So I would say it's hmm. real. Holly in the comments said that's what frozen skin typically can look like. So maybe <laughs> that plays a physics plays a factor in our expected, yeah. you know, impression of skin. Alrighty. So oh, Bella, okay. you are completely fucking wrong. It's real. <laughs> <laughs> Darlene Darlene Hildebrandt in the chat is batting a thousand, I think, so far on this. Yeah. And she's uh she's nailing it as we go yeah. through this. No, this is this is shot uh, by Curtis uh. Jones, actually. Yeah, I think oh I was my doing... gosh, Curtis. Yeah. I don't think I've got yeah. one of them one. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just gonna stick to this track record of getting everything wrong. I've seen this <laughs> image, so it's definitely yeah. real. I know. Wait, who shot this? I've seen this somewhere. Uh, is this like yours? This wait, is real. No. no, but I've 
I, no. but I've seen this image, so I know it's real for sure. <laughs> I'm gonna. It's probably just the eyebrows that get away from me, the imperfection of like you know the, the, how it's combed through. But mm-hmm. other than that, like I think it looks real. The fall off looks believable. Yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. I'd say this that one is real because I'm I'm looking at the eyebrows and it she looks like mm-hmm. there's I don't know. Can you are you able to zoom on this one, Renee, at all? Yeah. See behind the eyebrows, it looks like there's that. I don't know if it's makeup or tattoo yeah. or whatever on the skin behind it. I don't know if AI knows about that yet. So that's mm-hmm. that's the one thing. And then the symmetry of the eyes themselves are slightly off, which I know AI mm-hmm. could do, but would it know to do that when create? Because it think you know AI knows that symmetry equals beauty. So is it is is so I would say this true. is this is real. I would I'm gonna go I'm mm-hmm. gonna put my real card down on this one. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Okay, yeah. So this one is real and it's Johnny Edwards. Yay! Mm. Yay! That's oh, so I got beautiful. One, yeah. Okay, Johnny. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. And I, I I'm I think I'm remembering that correctly. There's two black and white photographers here, and every now and then they mix up their names. Mm. Now everybody's looking at eyebrows. Yeah. Uh, I'm gonna say fake just because of yeah. the people. Yeah. I think so too. I'm, I'm saying fake too. Different yeah. catch lights. It just gave me immediately kind of like a weird Uh, feeling. You know what I mean? Just looking at it, I was kind of like, I don't know. And I think so it's like, this is AI trying to create imperfect skin and it looks weird. You know Mm -hmm. what I mean? That's exactly right, Irene. Yeah. And look at the lower lid eyelashes. Look at the lower lid eyelashes on the left eye. Like Uh something. Mm -hmm. They're They're different. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Also, the iris again. The left iris is not even round. It looks like it's like a. uh, It has like little shapes to it. You know. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And again, the the catch light doesn't match. Yeah. In both eyes. That's yeah. This one. This one. This one is totally AI, and that is actually one of the biggest keys if you're trying to judge what is AI and what is not. Is always look at the catch lights. Um, and mm-hmm. see if they are at least consistent of what you think they should be. Um, but uh, so far, and again, we haven't played with the latest version of Stable Diffusion, the catch lights, um, which for those of you who are not photographers are these little reflecting white spots in the eyes. Uh, mm-hmm. So far, they're not the same, which is great. But also the fact oh, that what Irene said, which was it's almost as if it's like trying to make imperfect skin, but it just yeah. looks weird. Hey guys, we got we have about fifteen uh, ish minutes left. We may go a little bit over, but just be aware if more, you want to get your more. comments in here. Let's do more. Yeah. And I'm gonna, There's yeah, I'm gonna. Throw I'm up working early on getting some non-person people. So don't worry, but we got to get yes. this stuff too. This is the stuff that people really care about is being able to spot people. So this is people right. heavy. Yeah. If we do this no, again, this it'll is be non-people totally heavy. fake. Yeah, this one's I'm, fake. I'm throwing up a photographic authenticity poll for the the audience. If you guys want to give us your thoughts in there awesome. as we work through this. I actually thought this was AI when I first saw it. Yeah. But then the longer you look at it, I don't know, it just feels more compelling. It, it's mm-hmm. again the mm-hmm. eyes. The eyes are wrong. Mm-hmm. So mm-hmm. the iris don't match. The eye shape is oblong. Mm-hmm. It's like a, like if you look again, if you try to like uh just paint a circle yeah. over the eye, it's not right. And then the catch lights mm-hmm. don't match don't match again. So they're different yeah, on two different AI. eyes. Uh, it's like a good one. Again, if you don't look closely enough, I would think it's real, but it's fake. How mad would mm. you be if I said this was real? <laughs> I'm fucking with you. It's fake. No <laughs> 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 way. You're like, wow. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, for t- or Frederick. I should watch the F-bombs. I apologize. No, hey, <laughs> hey, be yourself. Be yourself. <laughs> okay. Do not self-edit for me. <laughs> um, this one, my first impression is fake. I think it's real. I think it's fake. It's the um, it's the house fake. on the left, yeah. right? The windows, the reflective quality, and the wood paneling just doesn't. Also, what is that weird like line by the roof that just kind of goes into nothing? Yeah. You know, mm-hmm. is it mm-hmm. is it half real, half fake? So is it like a photograph and then they just no. fill oh. like some water in uh-uh. front? I think it's all fake. No, 
I think even the car, like the reflections of metal when the sun comes in at that angle, you know, you know, there's more of like a blown out element to it. And I'll show no, you. I'll show mm. you three. So tell me which one of these three are AI, and which of the three is real. Mm. That's probably AI as well. Looks a little weird. The next one. Mm. Yeah, this is the it's most real one. one. But also, oh, no, shit. I'm confused. Mm -hmm. Wait, so mm. you're saying one is real? Mm. I'm saying. I'm I think the one we were looking at is real. Yeah, this the can't first be real. One is real. Oh, so maybe they took this real one and generated those other images from this uh, one. Um, I think the I third one's real. That. This third one's one definitely fake. This one's definitely fake. This one's fake. Yeah. Mm -hmm. This that almost feels like that middle Second one feels like a fake. miniature almost. Mm -hmm. The middle yeah. one might be the real one. No. The the explosion, can you zoom in on that explosion? I just Look want at to the see power line. the texture of it. Do you see the texture kind of looks the power artificial? Line disappears. Mm -hmm. Yeah, this one yeah, looks, looks fake. Like... Yeah, no, I think it's fake. Yeah. You're right. Percy. Oh, the tree. Look at, look look at, at the that tree. power line going into the flames at the top there. Yeah, right? on the left. Yeah, yeah. and look them. at the right. tree. The tree looks very yeah. bad. It it just uh -huh. looks fake. This one looks. Yeah, it's not real. Oh, I hope this is not real. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> no, the tree there looks very very bizarre. Mm -hmm. uh, okay, so... and the texture of the smoke. I would say if you're telling us, Renee, that one is real, then I would have to put this one as real. I didn't this say one that any real. one of them was no? real. Okay. Didn't. Oh, I think they one could one all be fake. Real. <laughs> ah, no, this is fake then. Yeah. So all three of these. So I included these three because there is so much misinformation around uh, conflict zones and natural disasters yes. right now that I really want everyone to, when they're looking at these, look at these houses and uh. look at the windows. So... Like the the hurricane that was in the Carolinas, there was a huge amount of misinformation of images around the hurricanes and the damage that happened. And when you looked close at the images, the physics on the houses made no sense. The windows didn't line up. The doors were all in the wrong places. Everything was janky with them. And I want people mm -hmm. to start looking at these images and looking at these houses like this here, these, this staircase, like maybe it got blown to pieces, but if the metal was that twisted, there would be no house left. <laughs> mm. Yeah. You know. So it looks like it tried to generate a person there on the left. It did, in the yeah. 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 Right? It and it just looks job. like a blob yeah. or something. Exactly. So like I want people wow. to look at these and realize that, like, yeah, like, you know, this is the age of misinformation and man is it ever powerful because the, all these situations are so emotionally charged. But please look at these images and mm -hmm. really try to dissect like just basic things like bricks. That looks real to me though, Renee. Yeah. It's like not. what yeah, would give this image away? Close. Yeah. Yeah, now that you said looking at windows and stuff again, like that one, two windows wind, don't right it's like here. a weird construction mm -hmm. of the house, and yeah, uh, the windows but, don't really match up. Yeah, yeah, and reflections in the yes. water on but the ground is what I mean. Some have definitely the most realistic. Yeah, it's hard to know. Yeah, mm -hmm. but that's why mm -hmm. this stuff is tricky, and I really, really, really want to start having those conversations with people of yes. like, you know, these are these are images that are out there and like of all of these 50% of this stuff, 50% of it is real and fake. Yeah. You know? And, and in a, in a talented photographer's hands, especially armed with this knowledge of what looks fake, you could make these look even more realistic, right? You take what the AI yeah. did and fix yeah, it. You can and correct now... catch lights and everything yeah, else. Yeah. All of it, yeah. all of it. Yeah. This one is fake. It's a fake Michelle Obama. Right yeah. Here. Yeah. <laughs> it's, it's Could be your sister. It's, it's, I actually it's think Michelle this is Obama. real. No, it's fake. No. Is it real? No. Definitely not. Again, the eyes. It's the neck, the, the, the what, what is this called? The the part where your clavicle uh -huh. meets your mm. that part. Like the clavicle? The lines. Yeah. Because you know, the I lines just, that come up I to just into the was... neck. Mm. Oh, also yeah, here yeah, this like trap that? casey yeah the necklace she, disappears. she either has really Necklace. muscly traps or traps yeah you know what i mean like here uh, this area yeah traps, you yeah. know you can never underestimate the um retouching <laughs> we <laughs> had right. some people really go for editing oh. so that's why it's giving hmm. real to me that it's just been like, right i, I know what you mean texture. like i could retouch my image to look 
uh, sort of um, very perfect and look like it's been almost painted uh, to be like look like a digital art but again here I can just tell by like the eyes the iris mm. the reflection in the eye the little inconsistencies like her necklace seems to disappear into nothing like it goes you can only mm -hmm. see it here but it doesn't continue down like you would I think normally see a necklace right like if we try to continue yeah, that line it does give it necklace. away the trap yes, then... looks very unnatural where just like a bulge like <laughs> unless she has mm. a cyst there or something then i don't know if anybody's it. watching the comments but someone just said bro shell obama <laughs> yes i saw that i saw that yeah thanks this is... bruce <laughs> <laughs> This one, this one is this one is AI, and for me, the dead giveaway was the necklace. It was 100%. a necklace, yeah. yeah. It's a yeah. trap. Funny thing yeah. is, it genuinely it's does look like an image that could have been over retouched. So, yeah. go, mm -hmm. can you, yeah. Renee? Can you go back real quick to the the brochelle image? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the brochelle image. Now, if you look at this, like I'm not saying it looks exactly like it, but without the hair, like the facial features, this, it, this looks a little bit like Barack Obama. Like the artist oh. wanted wanted mm. to generate. Look at the like face, splice right? them together, maybe. Uh, yes. Yeah, yeah. yeah it looks like a blend of Barack and Michelle. Good yeah, game. I wouldn't, I wouldn't have caught that, but good catch. That's really mm -hmm. interesting. Mm -hmm. um, the comments are having a lot of fun. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the comment Shack. section is just a riot right now. All righty, uh, let's see here. If we are running low on time, yeah. Where you got we five ish, five ten minutes left, and we'll wrap five -ish it. Five ish minutes. Okay. All right, let's try this one. Mm. Oh, so tough. I think it's real. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna I think say, that one is real. Can you zoom in at all? Mm -hmm. To me, I'm parents. looking at her clothing. Yep. And you can see where yeah. the stitches like connect to the strap. And it looks mm -hmm. very real to me. Like all the stitching on the bodysuit looks real. It's a beautiful shot, by the way. I love this one. Let's but, see yeah. those hands, Renee. Zoom in on those hands. <laughs> Let's mm. see, she has one, two, monster three. hands. <laughs> Wait, bigger. what is that ring doing? Oh, I no. thought it was. I thought it was fake when I first saw it. I'm going. But it AI. is a very I beautiful. Wait, I'm confused now because that ring looks a little <laughs> suspicious. <laughs> Why is it yes. like the so state is floating off? Look at her thumb. Look at her th well, both thumbs. But like, what's the what's that skeleton or the skeleton? It doing looks fine. There? The hands actually don't no, look that no, bad. No, the hands look really? what to we've me. seen before. Yeah, no, there's something with that bone that's not doing the right. I don't know. No, I, I will it's probably still, real. I will say real. I will still keep with real because of the clothing. The stitching on the clothing looks real to me, so I'll keep it as real. Mm. I'm gonna say AI for this one, just as a wild card. Let's see the face. Diffusion. Let's let's see the face. Alrighty, so there's something about no, but look at the shadow. The shadow looks real. Look at the shadow. Oh, yeah. The uh -huh. shadows her body. do look real. Every Even all the, the shadows, shadows look very look real. real on her face. On no, the it right. looks the very real. real. Okay, it's yeah, real. It looks the flyaways real. gave it away. Mm. But yeah, my initial one. thought was that it was fake. So. Yeah, this one is real. It's by Sasha Oshenko. Onoshenko, I could be pronouncing this wrong. He's a, a prominent ballet photographer in Montreal. Mm. So yeah, I love oh, this. It's a beautiful shot. Yeah, you know Sasha. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Love yeah. the light. And His everything. retouching is so good. Like this he's is really tough. Excellent. The color grade is really nice. Yeah, yeah. yeah he's yeah. super, 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 super It's really masterful. Yeah. Wow. Fake. It's right away. Everybody. Look at that. Fake. <laughs> why but why oh my god so many things look at her earring what is happening there it's like attached uh, to her ear i don't even know how the eye again is just mm -hmm. bad uh, like it's wonky yeah. the iris is floating around um but yeah the earring was the first thing that really jumped at me and then the eye yeah yeah, yeah even the top of the ear look at how that fold <laughs> happens for me the weird my biggest one's a the way they're laying the bricks like who lays yeah. bricks like that <laughs> nobody lays bricks like that that's exactly. true is, yeah. oh yeah yeah, yeah. The bricks oh are, that's right yeah that is yeah. the gap another... between the bricks is on another level yeah but so those are things though that we need to think about when we're looking at images like this when we're trying to figure out you know i mean there are places i've been uh around the world where the brick laying is just a dog's breakfast right <laughs> and it doesn't make sense let's be honest but at the same time you know these are these are all things like this earring is like a super great catch right but i mean 
realistically if i had seen this just by like casually browsing just like the bald pattern here the on the head mm -hmm. is really really mm -hmm. good like this looks like it was shot in open shade it's the earring for me and then the the brick pattern in the back mm -hmm. both that, of which like, are easily fixable and also easily mm -hmm. like missable if you're just like casually mm -hmm. like tap tap scroll oh yeah you know? we're not gonna we're, we're not gonna look at every single image on the internet like this no you know no. Mm -hmm. we're not gonna okay. look like that heavily at everything well, no, because how really... often that looks like Bella's shot, no? Yeah, it's oh, not Bella's. Bella. <laughs> no, but I know this artist, and she is amazing. So it's a, it's both real and no, it's real. But she's used a uh, Photoshop composite goldfish, to... right? Like composite. Yes. Yeah, it's, yeah, it's that, okay. it's that yeah. like fairy tale style, but it's real. Yes. Yeah. yeah. Did she composite? Real. Did she generate the the fish? in AI and composite them into a real portrait? I think portrait? those are just stock fish. I think this was made okay. before generative fill was any good. Mm -hmm. oh, okay. Yeah. yeah. But so what I want people to look at when you're studying these kinds of things, though, is that like, you know, like looking, looking at the work and being like, yeah, this is, this is a real, you know, a real composite, quote unquote, <laughs> you know, and then mm -hmm. why, like what makes it a quote unquote real composite? You know, mm -hmm. like even though the skin is like flawlessly edited and beautiful, right. right? Like this is something that you can render, but it looks yeah. different when it's made by people still. Mm -hmm. It does. I genuinely think people, the human energy just has a different, like it hits a difference. It comes through in, totally. the, in the art. The emotion. Mm -hmm. Yeah, mm -hmm. I, actually, I, believe, I believe the artist who made this, she is in the chat right now. I believe. She is. Oh. Yeah, yes she was oh brilliant yeah. well she's it's she's a gorgeous really image it's beautiful yeah but yeah i, I like, think it's... she also owns these fishes by the way oh my god oh, wow. I she <laughs> yeah so i know portrait. she owns fishes so you don't know whether That's they're awesome. actually, actually like oh, wow. images that oh, wow. she's actually captured captured herself or if these are just talk yeah yeah hey mishka Super yeah nice. she says this is hers yeah, she's yeah. very talented yeah, yeah. wow yeah. Mishka um, Klimzak. Look her up. What about uh, the no, lip no, no. picture? No, Mishka, Ooh, Mishka. We should look at like the food. Uh, yeah. I saw there were a few Ooh, pictures of food. the pancake ones. Those, Some... those can be tricky. Mm. Yes. Yeah, somebody oh, mentioned the damn, pancake one right. as well. Because mm. <laughs> I've seen real, some that please. look very real. <laughs> Oof. It was like, this is mm. depressing because Pratik, the retoucher to the stars. <laughs> is is looking at this in bewilderment like this is just like ai and it's only 2023 right for uh, so. <laughs> i think this one is real because i'm strawberry though okay the, i i do mm -hmm. agree that strawberry looks a little funky i mean yeah, but sus, like perfect sussberry but sus <laughs> look at look at the <laughs> uh but look at the uh table itself the lines line up Okay. That's why mm -hmm. I thought it was real. I think oh, it's real. You mean from the touch. background to the foreground? Yeah. Yes, like That's the lines the itself of each, like the table, you know, the what are they called? But they, they all line up they, the lines. The slats, right? yeah. No, yes. there's one behind that coffee that doesn't line up. Where? That it one does. line behind the coffee goes. No, the it lines up. It, it lines up. up. He's talking about the one that starts at the bananas in the far back. That one, yeah. The banana to the coffee rim. Like it should it mm -hmm. should continue to the foreground. It doesn't. But it zoom out a little bit, Renee. Away. Yeah. Yeah, no, it should it, it should up. continue underneath those two blueberries yeah, see? right there. No, exactly. No. It doesn't. No. I was saying AI. The, the no, because the that line there, goes. Actually, actually, you got me with that line. I agree. I think it's fake. Wait, I think but the spacing of oh, that board. line. No, mm, okay, yeah. I will go against all of you guys and I will stick with real, okay? Because yeah. I still think it's real. Okay. Mm -hmm. And you all think right. the anatomy of those strawberries is correct? Look at that strawberry in the lower right. If, is that if, correct? If, if this is real, I want to know where they got the strawberries and not ever go there. They probably <laughs> added it as strawberry. And how long they spent editing. I think. But have you, have you guys not seen food photography? How like they do all sorts of stuff to make things look shiny and like delicious and all these things. Yeah. So to mm -hmm. me, like the light lines up. Like I can see the light is the coming light. from like one yeah. source on one side and it lines up everywhere. Mm -hmm. The also fingernail yes. looks like real to me. Janky. Like on... mm -hmm. No, it, it looks, looks real. Yeah, it looks real. So I will keep real. That's my <laughs> final. I will say real.
All righty, Irene, on this one, you are correct. It is real. Ah, it is real. Ah, yeah. Yes. John, John Finn Photography shot that one. Uh, let's see. I have more food ones it's here. such a good job oh, that go. we thought it was fake. Yeah. Love this. No, oh, for this architecture. I think it's fake. Yeah, the colors, the green is not natural. So uh, gradiently perfect. But how do you even across open across the these? Tree. You know what I mean? That's like, doesn't look like a very uh, comfortable handle to open. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> yeah, they're uneven handles. And they're uneven. <laughs> um, can't read what it says, like on the... Uh-huh, words. You know. Um, it looks real to me. Like all the, the, the plant, shadows though. are lining up. The light is lining up. The door handles the are all lining up. It looks really no. Oh. No. Like, the leaves. Come on. Yeah, scroll over to the left a little bit. Let's look at those <gasps> Wait, leaves. You know what, look, Bella? Maybe and the mechanics right? of that table underneath. Like, I'm looking at that. Is that uh, correct? It's a weird table. It, circle. it is. <laughs> <laughs> maybe it is real now. I'm not sure. No, the guys. Tiles are lining on. up. <laughs> the table is interesting. But yeah, you look at the shadow like, do line it, up, like from the but, plant. And would, exactly. And would an AI generate a Bernays. table like that? Then they could, it could generate a much more, I don't know, aesthetic table. Hmm. Hmm. Okay, hmm. my initial I think is the handle fake. for me. Yeah, the handle is uh, so my initial is fake, and I will stick to that. That was my initial like. Yeah, uh, so I'll too. just stick with okay. fake. But this one is. I stick with real. I know the answer, so I have no comment on this one. I love one of the comments here in the chat it says text text on those machines looks like a captcha. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, hundred <laughs> percent. Uh, yeah, this is fake, and uh, I picked this one because ah! uh, Mid Journey has no idea how to do words. The text, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yet. Anyways, so, so far, it did allegedly. a good job with the shadows, though. Yeah, it's it did a beautiful convincing. job. Yeah. That was one of the things I was so impressed by. Um, there's, Hold on. there's. I just have a couple more here that I wanted to show you guys because I'm curious. Yes, yeah, I agree. I assumed it was another language too. Um, it looked so real. This is yeah. this is frightening. What a great exercise. <laughs> it's shocking, right? Oh, hold on. I see. have been wrong every single one. <laughs> right now we're all... I'm going to go into distinction trauma. <laughs> Ooh. Oh, yeah. Um, I think it's real. Ooh, ooh, fuck. I oh, think it's man. fake. I think it's I real. Think this is CG. It's CGI. I think it's a real picture it's that's really been very much edited. Oh man. Mm -hmm. I'm going CGI. I'm going not photo, not AI, it's CGI. Yeah, like fake. I think it's real. But <laughs> after all this, oh, you can go I'm into collect collective existential dread and go eat some pancakes and strawberries. <laughs> <laughs> I want those sussberries. Can you, uh, Robin, would you oh, be you able don't. to zoom in on the rocks, on the little rocks? Yeah. The pebbles? The pebbles, yes. Oh, mm. good idea. Eventually, there's going to be category of forensic detectives. Right. Uh, for this. <laughs> yeah. Seriously. No, it's absolutely. just going to be another AI program critique. It's not going to be people. Come on. Yeah. It's going to be AI's oh, battling oh. AI. That's already what cybersecurity is these days. Okay, I will mm -hmm. I will stick with my initial that it's real. I'm just sticking with yeah, my, like, my initial thoughts. It Zoom in on real. this car. It's... Go Look at the steering wheel it... mechanism and all that. Let's make sure that's right. It's real. The shadow, they wouldn't keep that weird shadow. Yes, the that's what I thought, too. If it wasn't real. At the top and the and right. And there's imperfections on the ground. Mm. Yeah. And we got that Lexus logo right, too. So mm -hmm. Yeah. yeah. True, it does look real. But, yeah, but edited. Yes, a lot. Real, but very edited. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. So this is real, shot by Not Bland. Wow. Amazing. Yeah. That's incredible. So a really cool shot. Yeah. I mean, he's basically an AI anyway. So whatever. I know. I know. <laughs> do that. Do that portrait. Scroll up a little bit, Renee. Which one? Go up, 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 up. The oh, with the guy. flower. No, I got the beard right there. Right, right there. This one. No, to the oh, right. This one. To the, the guy left. with the beard. beard. Oh, this one. The beard. No. Well, do this one first, and then we'll do no, the other one. Which one did you want? Which one? Which beard? The gold. Uh, the gold. Oh, this one here? right there. No, Wait, <laughs> there's so many bearded men yeah. on this. That page. one. Yeah, the black that dude one. with the beard right there. You can't miss him. Wait, oh. scroll up. Scroll up. 
scroll up a little right bit. Right there, yeah. black t-shirt. Right yeah, right in yeah. the middle. It, it looks like my nephew Keith, so I had to put it up there. So. Oh, <laughs> oh. <laughs> Keith. Hmm. Is Keith this real or Memorex? Yeah, that's real. It's real. This it one looks hundred percent real. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that one's real. Yeah. Yeah. You can tell by the orange, like. Cameras typically pick up like darker skin, right? It has uh, uh, that orange tone if you don't edit the photo like straight, and it has like orange mm. bits that typically are indicative of a uh, what's that? Mm -hmm. So this is real and shot by our friend Richard yeah. Turborg. Ooh, nice. Amazing. Yeah. Um. Hold on. I'm looking for. There we go. Mm. Isn't that funny how we didn't this even a fake have one. to? Yeah. Look at the logo. That's no, not that's logo no, is no. very messed up and also it looks the... like a, it wants to be a Ford Porsche. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> also if you zoom in, it has like like little ladders on the the headlights. Oh, the yeah, look at that. or something. Yeah. I don't know what it was trying to do. Oh, look at the floodlights, Ooh, right? It, it looks like yeah. um yeah, like a weird lights, pattern. It, yeah, it got the tires yeah. circular. It's pretty cool. Mm. Yeah, it actually yeah, got the rim mangled. pattern pretty rims. consistent. Like, those rims look mangled though they like well yeah, the, that, there's like this one here that doesn't really mm. work but yeah so mm. that one there is delightfully fake thankfully oh, goodness yeah. um Oof. where the hell you know i'm i'm more. wondering about the more. lips yeah i i oh, the good one the was lips. that one the show one i'm not going to tell you which one renee but show one that was a composite was oh. A, uh, oh. yeah. um actually hold on um, but don't do it in first because tell us the lips one too now yeah i'm i'm wondering about the lips one Oh, that, that looks yeah, like those AI. Are bloody lips. Wait, mm -mm. that's not the one I had in mind, but no, oh. it was a scene that, that I think you actually did. Mm. Or no, maybe you didn't do it. That's but you, fake, right? You yeah, that's AI. Looks... The teeth, the teeth are weird on the bottom. Like, there's too many of them. Oh, it has that same right. issue yeah. with the texture and the color very not matching perfectly. Yeah, mm -hmm. the teeth. I, I think it's real, which is probably. <laughs> Why it's going to is be it fake? <laughs> it looks real to me. Uh, yeah, so I'm saying what fake. You... fake yeah. The comment section real thinks, is just seems to think it's mostly real. Yeah. But I do comment agree with says, the teeth at the bottom. Split. We're split. The, are split. Yeah, I think we've got a hung jury. So real. Mm -hmm. For, For me, me the, thing, the upper teeth. It's the the transparency mm -hmm. in the teeth. Exactly. Mm -hmm. That's what makes me mm -hmm. think it's real. Yeah. Yeah, so what is it? And the uh, and the uneven tone color. Too sharp. <laughs> this person should be rushed to the hospital. <laughs> Anyways, this is this is AI. Yeah, because ah! look, it, it <laughs> fooled you with the top teeth, but the bottom teeth are completely fake. Yeah, like yeah. there's way too many of them, right? So um, listen, Irene will catch any AI. She, she has got like what hundred out of hundred or so. No, far. I had one wrong. Very one was wrong. Yeah. Ooh, mm. that is yeah, fake. Yeah. I think. Yeah, we haven't seen many animals. It has this like oh, that's fake. Ma doesn't match. Yeah, it's fake. Yeah. The audience is weird. The people in the background, it's very. It doesn't make it sense. It does. Yeah. yeah. The light doesn't make sense. Yes. The way the, the yeah. shadows bring up, it's 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 too. The way the the face is illuminated, it doesn't make sense. Yes. Yes. On it's the horse, different light on her it's and the yeah. person. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so it's okay. it's fake for sure. For any of the equestrians in the crowd, the reins are attached to the chest strap, and that makes right. no sense at all. <laughs> <laughs> and she's holding it funny too, just like in between her fingers. She's yeah. like, "Let me just yeah. put the strap right there." Like, yeah, yeah. So I, this inspired it because I saw some horse jumping photos recently um, on a on an equestrian page, and they were all AI, and I was like. So Oh, and everyone was like, oh my yeah. god, this is so amazing. And I was like, it's fake. <laughs> it's fake. <laughs> <laughs> um, oh. hmm. mm. That's Saving real. Private Ryan. This I think that's real. Real. I think wait, 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 wait. No, no, no. Look at the fist. Look at I'm the not fist. sure anymore. I'm not sure anymore. No, I think it's fake. Real. Look at the fist. There's no wrist going on. It's just it's just fist. Wait. <laughs> This ah yes it's fake the hand on the right yeah. it looks weird like it's all, all like bizarre mm -hmm. oh, so yeah, i do I think it's fake also yeah, if you look at the rope it kind of looks like it's copied the, the rope mm -hmm. like how much mm -hmm. rope do they need 
Do they need this mm -hmm. much food? Maybe. <gasps> Wait, is this like for context? Context? <laughs> for context really, if this like, helps? What were they doing that day? If it helps, <laughs> this is part of a series. Oh, I'm going to oh. Honestly, this could be real. Like my Okay, so again, my initial thought that it's real. So I I've have been trying to stick uh, with my initial thoughts, but this one is very it's a little there's some weird stuff going on in here. So it could be fake as well, but I'll just uh, I'll pull I, up, I'll I'm going to the other wait, image. Fake. No wait. Cuz also two. Yes, if you can the show us the second one. Oh, okay, it's fake. No, it's fake. Yeah. yeah. Also, you know what I just thought? Color, but... You know what I just thought? If you mm -hmm. go back to that image, it looks like oh, yeah. it is almost the same it's... guy. Like they copied, like they have, you know how like um, in AI, they they will take a specific like look and they will generate it multiple times, but it's kind of mm -hmm. the same look with slight variations. And these two guys look like they're the same mm -hmm. guy that's slightly like a different a variation of the same guy Maybe. like a sibling mm. doesn't mm. make sense it's a family vacation <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> so i would say fake vacation photos yeah <laughs> so for me the thing that gives it away here is the mast on this ship here it's at the wrong part of the ship it's at the end it should be in the middle if it was going to be anywhere um this Oops. is a beautiful series and i'm forgetting the name of the artist right now but i'll make sure uh the, the oh, prompter was it jonas uh, nope, no, it was, uh, it was a woman. It's, it's, a, it says it's a, Sonia. It's Sonia Itala. Is it Sonia? Oh, Son yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, there we go. The men are catching oh, a mermaid. That's right. Yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah so Sonia, this is, this is wow. a beautiful series. I wanted to include all of them, but uh, it would have been too obvious that they right. were AI. <laughs> um, yeah, yeah wow. they're, they're stunning, like super, super stunning. So yeah, Sonia, nice work. Um, it's like one of my favorite series of AI images. So like what I find with AI images is that most of the time it looks really redundant and repetitive. Mm -hmm. But every now and then I come across a series that is just like really, cool. really, really cool. And oh, Sonia's yeah. series of those images, they're in the futurist AI group boutique. Um, and she's yes. got them all, all there. And you can look at the whole story and it's beautiful. It's really stunning. Amazing. I think this Love is real. It. I think it's yeah. real too. Is it a Renee mm -hmm. image? <laughs> it kind of not a Renee image. <laughs> Yeah, it, it looks like something like like you it's would like do. It's like diffusion yeah. in the shadows makes sense. Like the physics of it makes sense. It's obviously like edited, you know. But yes, but yeah. it has a real feeling to it still. So. And yeah, all the things seem to be lining kind of up. Disappear. Exactly. Like the stairs look like stairs. Sense. Yeah, nothing is like standing well. out as unnatural. So it's tricky, but yeah, I think it is chat, real. Chat says fake. I mean, oh. now that I'm looking at the stairs, but the stairs do no. that, you know, over the time they will get warm. Exactly, wonky. they break. Yeah, they break. Wait, the can you zoom into the texture of those stairs? The mm -hmm. stairs is the only thing that I'm looking at that I'm like not 100% sure, but. Oh. oh this <laughs> yeah. Is a, this is a, yeah. I... <laughs> it's a texture for me. You're right. But zoomed out, you can't tell on a webinar. No, no but zoomed in, it does. It looks a bit too... Your mind fills in the gaps of all the details that are missing. Mm. Mm. We're getting... The chat says AI for the most part, and some, a couple of people are saying composite. I'm saying in my journey. It's can honestly, like the trees... I'm trying to figure out if the trees also makes... It, it looks to me like this was in England somewhere. And some kind of like just abandoned old house. So it looks like plausible. Yeah. Like that, mm -hmm. you know, like it can definitely exist in the world, right? Like Bella, like you've seen places like this in England, right? Like they look yeah, exactly it's, like this. Yeah, that's why I'm yeah. composite. Yeah. But yeah. what so is composite? I don't this know. This is by Enrico Fassati. And it is a combination of photography and mid-journey. It's the only one oh, that is a combination oh of the two. Oh, Oh, so it's a composite. New it's frontier. Yeah. yeah. New frontier. But wait, what was the the composite was the guy, right? And the, everything else in the journey. No. No. Um, so oh. my understanding of the image is that the forest and everything is uh photographed. Yeah. And then the building oh. pieces are mid-journey and the person is uh added in post as well. Yeah, those the wow. stairs made me like take another look but i wasn't sure because honestly like old stairs do that they yeah, will like they bend and yeah. Yeah. um 
Okay, Frederick, Second I'm going to show one last one and then let's we can get one more in. Good. Yep. yep. Uh, wherever the heck it went, because here we go. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Why do you do this to us? <laughs> dick. Critique, it's because I love to see you guys suffer. I want to see the neurons burning. Okay, I say real. <laughs> I say real because I, things I, match up. I need to zoom in on this one. Yeah. Okay, but look. Things actually match too. up. So see, he has this little knob on the back of the head of the helmet. It matches up with the second image. And then I also was just looking at the mm. details of like the backpack and it matches up like the little nodges and everything matches up. And I feel like Midjourney mm. would have a hard time generating the same exact image for multiple shots. Mm -hmm. So yeah. it looks to me like it's real. They just have yeah. the school costume. Uh, words in there, like like Darlene called it. That number That's... three is in there, and there's another. Oh yeah, number three. Yeah. There's a word mm -hmm. in there somewhere. That's think... on the back of I the backpack. The vertical. Is... Mm -hmm. Yes. I think yeah. the background is composite, like a mid journey situation. I think the background is real. He, yeah. That just looks like like even here in uh in like uh we have the dunes close by, uh like Drumheller dunes, and they look like this. Damn, so... where do y'all live? <laughs> I mean, this I'm could be not... Death Valley in California, right? It could be anywhere. It could yeah. just be a quarry. So, mm -hmm. yes. Oh, or yeah. just yeah, a quarry, right? I think it's a quarry. A figurine. Yeah, because you just frame <laughs> it really well. That's well, why uh, yeah, I think it's. Um, I think it's real too. Wonderful. All right. <laughs> so the the finisher for all of this is uh, this is all CGI, and it's <gasps> by it's by <gasps> Ash Thorpe. And but CGI knows. is still not AI. It is not AI. It is CGI. And this is masterful CGI. This is beautiful yes, CGI. Yes, so yes, it was yes, human yeah. created. I didn't, so that's I didn't a good know, question. I, I did is not it know human? Oh, we see CGI in the game, Renee. Oh, that, that's the whole point is that I'm here to trick you. So for me, the only giveaway, <laughs> the only giveaway is there's a tiny little bit of haloing right here. Mm. And that's it. So but CGI yeah. is still it's more computer real generated, but than it has AI. People, yeah. It's people, somebody man. has, yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah. People, people create. Yeah. Ash, Ash Thorpe so is it's still, like one so of the best. So it's still real. Yeah. Well, it's, CGI it's is still made. superior. Yeah. To any, CGI, to, I think, to, it's, it's, AI. all of us. <laughs> more controllable. Yeah. Right? Oh my god, CGI yeah. is just incredible, especially with the new Unreal Engine that's coming out. Unreal Engine Five is just mm. bananas. Mm. Um, the mm. stuff that they can make, and so I wanted to include this because. I also want people to see like, yeah, when there's a series, so when there's 3D images, oftentimes what people will do, especially 3D artists, is they'll include like the depth map or like the grayscale version of what they've created to prove that it is actually CGI, right. um, you know, because they're proud of it because they spend so long putting all this stuff together. Or at the very least, if there's a series of images, you're going to notice that there's a consistency. So even if the image looks completely unbelievable and impossible, that you know, 3D, there are going to be these consistencies because they're using the same model. They're not going to build four different types of these models. It's crazy. That's you know, unless yeah. of course they they have the budget for it. But yeah, yeah. I really wanted to I really wanted to include a 3D image in here because I I find that you know that's an important part of the conversation as well. So mm -hmm. yeah, I mean we could call. we could do this for hours because I have I have so many more. We here, totally but... could. And you'll post this. You'll post yeah. this. So yeah, let's. Uh, so folks, if you you signed up for the webinar, if you're in the chat, obviously. So I'll I'll share the link out in a couple of hours to the replay, and at some point, the Renee will share the gallery, and we'll share that out as well. So, yeah. um, but I wanted to wrap on this. So let's uh, show the rep the results of that poll real quick, if I can pull it up. And uh, it is stand by. Wait for it. Oh, here it is in the poll. Share results. There we go. That's the results of the poll. So still inconclusive, basically. Can you guys see that? Everybody seeing the results? Yeah. Yeah. So inconclusive, as I thought. Right. So I want to. I want to end on. I want to give everybody the last word on this because I want to. I want to find out what you think, and if your perceptions about AI and where it's going and the realism that can be generated with these apps that. All the stuff you saw today was created a while back, not even with state-of-the-art tools, right? So where are we going with this? So uh, Bella, why don't you start, off, start us off? What, it, what do you feel like your mindset is now after going through this exercise? And have you changed your opinion at all on AI and the realism and all that? 
Oh my goodness. It's been quite telling, especially because I got all of the wrong. <laughs> Every <laughs> single <me> one. <laughs> I was like, yeah. so, and that, and that is fascinating as well, because I was so sure I was right, but I was actually wrong. And uh, it was only because somebody else was able to, they, they, they knew the truth. So they shared it. And then that then leads to the point that where Renee talked about, how do you even know what is real and what is fake anymore? And I think there's definitely some, this is a topic that we're going to have to start addressing as a collective because it's going to impact everything. Yeah. Yeah. Moving yeah, forward absolutely. in all aspects of our reality, not just even like us talking about it as artists, but just like as human beings, because you, all of us in here, including the people in the chats, we're in the creative field. So we know to look out for things like catch lights and this and that, the other. And yet I still got it all wrong. Me yeah. within the industry got it all wrong. So what does any person out there have? Like, how do they even have a chance? They're not right. going to. Especially, um, especially yeah. in the context of you're not scrutinizing the image for reality. You're just assuming that, of course, it's an image. It's, re it's real. And there's a, a story behind it that's supporting that the image is supporting. So you're not in scrutiny mode. You're in oh, this thing just happened and there's an image that's describing it to me. Let me look at it, right? You're, yeah. Which is, you know, and the whole thing could be fake. The entire thing, the story, so this, the image, everything. Correct. So this one hour exercise that we did identified things that we could look out for. For example, catch light, like skin texture, blah, 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 blah. However, that doesn't mean that the model will not then improve on, on those things later moving on. And it will just become harder and harder. So things that we now use to identify artificial created images will be like will be absorbed by those models, so that they can make it more and more real. They're like, oh, so you think this is fake? Let me sh like, yeah, correct yeah. that like and the, make it look more real. The difference between like Mid Journey Four and Mid Journey Five was like, yeah. you know, and then we all had to teach ourselves what to look for, and then, you know, but it's the same thing with VFX, right? So CGI from 20 years ago that blew our minds. Now it's just like, oh my God, look at that CGI from 20 years ago. Um, you know, we just have to keep retraining our eyes and retraining like the filter that we look through the world at. And so it takes constant education and conversations like this, you know, between like ourselves and our communities to just be like, you know, even if you're not sure, it doesn't hurt to join some some AR, AI art communities just to keep an eye of what's going on. And if you yeah. see something, so like with those images with um, the Carolinas with the hurricanes, I looked at them and I, I instantly I was just like those have to be fake but I wasn't 100% sure so I just like shared it into the group and I was like this is fake guys right you know because the uncanny valley there for me I it was like it was happening um but I couldn't quite exactly figure out why and then watching other people be like oh yeah because of this 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 and this and these are people who they live in the AI world AI art world AI image world I guess I should say um and that's where they they play constantly um, you know, they're able to really notice those things. So like we are responsible for educating ourselves and we're responsible for educating the people around us. And that's what I'm hoping we can do here today. Yeah. yeah. I have a feeling it's going to be interesting because it'll, AI will probably get to a point where it's going to be so hard to identify what's AI that we're going to go the opposite way and have to justify why something is real. Yeah. So they'll, it'll probably go the other. So instead of calling out, oh, this is AI, you're going to be like, no, this is real and this is why. And you have to come yeah. through with receipts on why you're saying this is real. So we're going to enter, we'll be, in, we'll be focused on what's fake, which is where we are right now, which is looking at what's fake, to being yeah. inundated with so much false information that we're going to be, we have to like, you know, try and, I don't even yeah. think it thinks it takes like, spot, like, we'll being inundated. Why something is real. Yeah, I think it, it's more of, it, it could even be as insidious as, like, a, here's an analogy, like you have a jar full of jelly beans, right? And one of those jelly beans is poison. You have to treat all of the jelly beans as suspect. And, you know, accordingly. Sus so, it, yeah, you're not going to, if somebody says, yeah, one of those jelly beans on the counter there is made of arsenic, but help yourself. You know, the chances of you getting the arsenic one are very low. You're going to have to assume that they're all arsenic and not touch them unless you have a way to prove that the one that you want is not right so i feel like we're we're kind of there where we even subconsciously like i was saying at the beginning when i look at an image i'm automatically looking at it for is that real you know is it is, am i missing something so i think people are just as time marches on just going to move into that default modality of being suspect of images and bella like you're saying which means people viewing those images if they want to or if they care to are going to scrutinize it 
heavier to try to prove that, okay, this is real, but, but they may not care. Right. So we're, we're all in this industry. We all care about images. We care about artists. We care about all the things, but if it's just someone that's walking down the beach in, you know, Manhattan beach or something, and there's a street artist selling prints of AI art, but it looks real they're going to buy one if, if one speaks to them. I don't think, you know, for the most part, they're going to care if, if one of like a talented artist pool created that. A ton of people will, yeah. but a lot of people won't, right? So really it's going to be like, yeah, that's going to look good on my, on my behind the wall in my living room. I want it. Boom. That's There's it. There's a really right? great comment here in the chat. that says AI free is going to be the new generation of organic GMO free marketing. And that's actually, <laughs> that's GMOs. like bang on. <laughs> I think that's wow. fair. I mean, because like, like, look for hashtags that say hashtag no AI. Yeah, mm -hmm. I like that. We need some art for that. Irene, um, I, I yeah, was just Irene. saying, yeah, I think the the question is always like the the value that we put on the images. And, you know, right now we're saying, you know, that the real images have more value than the AI generated images, right? And mm -hmm. You know, the value is because how much time and effort we put in it or maybe how much uh, knowledge someone has and technical knowledge or experience to pull something off rather than someone just clicking a few buttons and generating it. But I do wonder if like, I don't know, is that value going to change or like you said, um, for regular people, they don't feel that value, right? Like they don't mm -hmm. really care. So for them, it's different people putting different value in those things. Mm -hmm. Um, mm -hmm. that is the interesting point for me. And also like Bella said, um, when AI gets really good, when I, when I can't see which one is fake and which one is real, then I don't yeah. know if it's going to change. Like my opinion is going to change or not right now for me, it's very easy to distinguish, uh, or yeah. easy ish. Um, but what if I can't distinguish anymore? Then it's going to be a different story, right? Mm -hmm. It's just yeah, a lot of kinda... what ifs and what's going to happen. And let's see, it's all still like in the beginning stages, right? So again, I'm just trying to yeah, be optimistic yeah. about it. And um, it's inevitable, it's going to happen. So I'm just going to try to incorporate it in in my own photography yeah. and... Yeah. <laughs> artists artists have to be knowledgeable about what's happening, where, yes. where it might go and get in where you fit in right now, right? And figure it, figure it all out right now. Pratik, I want to get your thoughts on this as well, especially considering what OpenAI did, not all the controversy they're going through right now, but the, the, their developer day, I think they called it, where they announced GPTs, plural, where we could all basically train a GPT. So I was watching that and I was thinking, okay, if you can train a GPT to do all these different things for you, personal specialized assistance, is the next step in that images where you can now train an AI oh, oh, to be an artist and to do different things oh. and to synthesize multiple art forms or whatever, right? Is that coming? Oh, I'm I sure. I think I, I just feel like right now the bottleneck is a obviously the gap in development, but also the front end interface and usability mm -hmm. and ease of access for people because there's still a big hurdle to understand how to use these things right it's not yeah, as simple yeah. as let me just download stable diffusion and you know it's it's a bit of a challenge so as time goes on it'll become easier more adapted and i've already seen like meta for example when i go into instagram on my messages i, I have meta ai right there and i yeah. it, it works it works you can hit imagine you can start typing so companies like that see the opportunity in trying to be first to the market in terms of usability and how easy to access it is yeah then it'll open up a different discussion once most people are on board yeah yeah i agree yeah where we are now is is kind of like when the app store was first or the yes, iphone right. even right it was was first launched and we had no idea of what businesses would spot would pop up because of that platform, Uber, drones, et cetera, you know, DoorDash, on and on and on, all these different things that are enabled by this device. And these GPTs, the more I learn about them or just GPT or large language models, however you want to spin it, uh, or generative AI even, when you look at these things and I look at my daily life 
and you kind of extrapolate extrapolate where things might go. Like I'm sitting in my car, I'm like, yes. how come I can't just talk to my car in natural language and tell it where I want to go? Why do I have to do that's, all these things? That's what I told how come I can't just day. say turn the heat up or turn the heat down, turn on the seat warmer, do the, you know, <laughs> or you know, what's yes. I, we need to make reservations over here tonight for dinner. Crazy generation. It's, <laughs> it's everything done. It's Wally. -E. <laughs> it's Wally -E all over again, and we're all gonna turn into yes. you know. If you didn't watch Wally, -E, watch it. Yeah. So yeah, hope, and then with, with though, AGI the end fatigue, goal, yeah, go ahead, go ahead. I hope the end goal is more freedom for us to do more things yeah. that we want That's to do. Because like right now, as an example, it's not gonna happen. We're just gonna do more work. Like, you know, for it me, just drives the price down. Now, we're gonna do more work. <laughs> <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> Yeah. That's why you stay ahead of the tools, which is really important. Like I'm able to craft emails so fast. I have so much more time now than today, truly, by just getting out tough messages that I don't Same know how here. to craft. It's become my personal assistant. So I just Same hope, here. you know, the takeaway here is keep on top of what's coming. You know, just make sure you understand. You don't have to form an opinion just now, but just keep yourself open to what's happening so that when it comes time for you to use that in a way that benefits you, you can understand and know how to do it rather than just shutting it off and be, I'm not going to have any part of this because that's the there, worst thing to do right now. There is a really yeah. interesting uh, plugin right now that uh, it is in beta and invite only, and it's for Photoshop. Um, and it is, uh, it's not an Adobe product. It is a plugin for Adobe for mm. Photoshop. But basically, what it is is it's uh, for concept artists, and you do like loose sketches, and it does real time beautiful rendering. And the whole company's ethos on this, and this is my counterpunch to you, is that so more artists can do more art faster. They're not saving time. They're having to turn around faster concepts quicker mm. because yeah. this program is going. So like it, it is going to go both ways. You're like, oh, on one hand, I've got more time. But on the other hand, this company that's like, oh, instead of having to come totally. up with like two good ideas a day, we now we need you to do 30. And I feel like that's just yeah. going to really um, like like that's going to you're going to see burnout at a much faster accelerated rate as a result, even though the technology is very impressive and the people behind the company seem really interesting and their heart is in the right place. Um, I just see, I just see exploitation. Yeah. Yeah. There's, There's a lot of different of fast areas. Fashion like Shein into yeah. the art space. Yeah. A hundred percent. That's exactly, yeah. that's exactly what it is. Even though it's, it's beautiful. It does really nice work, but mm -hmm. yeah, I just, I just see, uh, I see exploitation for sure. Yeah. And, 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 and to, to, the... but, who's that? Was that Bella? Bella? Go ahead. I was just saying that I feel so sorry for like concept artists because I feel like that has been an industry that's been really impacted yeah yeah because yeah. in the past yeah concept mm -hmm. especially concept artists because now you can type in like five words and generate like a multitude yeah of like digital artists things. concept artists like yeah stuff like yeah. that like i mean digital art in itself you know let's say we had two pictures one of digital art painted by an artist and then like an ai generated digital art you know, that will be mm. hard to spot the difference between, mm -hmm. right? Like yeah. in photography, mm -hmm. it's a little bit easier, but for something like that, you might not spot the difference whatsoever. Yeah, I actually, yeah. Uh, some of the images we didn't show are exactly that. They're they're digital art versus um, like mid-journey renders of like a similar theme. Mm -hmm. And uh, yeah, it's very, very, very hard to tell the difference for sure, you know, until you start like blowing it up. Mm -hmm. yeah. But uh, yeah, I don't know. It's interesting. I mean, like it's such a double-edged sword. Like I'm firmly planted into like on one side, I'm really excited. On the other hand, I'm just like, ah, this sucks. Yeah. <laughs> my, yeah. A lot my of it's hope, out of uh, control. My hope okay. is that, you know, when internet was a thing, uh, there were a lot of scams, a lot of things that were unregulated that were going on. And it took just a couple of years to regulate it, to even like create laws that would regulate certain things. So I'm assuming we will have few years of just free for all and a lot of things that are negative that come with AI, but at some point, hopefully it will get regulated and more integrated and you know what I mean? Yeah, there's a yeah. conversation around the regulation the question... too, right? I mean, because on one hand it's, it's people making laws uh, based on an industry they know nothing about. Like for example, with stem cell research, uh, North America and like parts of Europe were like, nope, we're not doing stem cell research. That ain't happening. But and then other countries around the world were like, meh, we're going to keep doing it. And now their stem cell research and the things that they can cure and everything else are like light years ahead of what the countries that banned it can do, you know? And so in the yeah. long run, it did wind up being a good thing, but even though it's ethically murky. And so, yeah, yeah. I, again, yeah. it's just like, I'm just like, when has, ethics, when has ethics ever played a part in like progress? 
<laughs> really when yeah. it comes to like making strides forward people have ethics and morality but ultimately the ones who are so, making regulations and making those bigger decisions that impact everybody mm-hmm. it's not for our best interest mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah to regulate like meta... this stuff though to put it in a box like ai in general is is a global effort right you can't just one country say okay we think this could be dangerous so we're going to limit ourselves and everyone else should limit yourselves to it's not going to work like that right if the if the I mean, u.s says okay we've we've signed we've all signed this letter saying that we are we're going to yeah. restrict <laughs> and be transparent and do all in all other countries are like no this is the best thing since sliced bread we're going full on throw money at no, it no they're going uh, full countries on. do yeah. it though countries yeah. do it yeah. though right in some countries you can't watch any like pornographic videos you know what i mean yeah and, but i can't uh, hear another right can. so they, they can't legislate me here of what i can do right. so my point is we the can make VPN. laws and and try you know we slash whatever individual country can make laws and try to you know push our morality on other countries when it comes to ai but it, it doesn't have necessarily have to stick even if it's correct or whatever right it's other other places are going to continue and... to push this forward whether or not other you know some countries say it's it's dangerous and restrict mm-hmm. themselves so you can't put the yes. toothpaste back in the tube it's out so. right like meta meta just disbarred their um ethics department for ai development so everyone's racing towards agi as fast mm. as possible they want to be yeah. the first person to say we did it we've you know birthed this new mm-hmm. thing and mm. I yeah think agi is, is another thing for, for folks in the audience that don't know what agi is it is um what is it advanced general intelligence or something i don't know what the a general is, intelligence general uh, inte- um, so basically artificial it's when general it's intelligence artificial yeah it is when ai or these chat GPTs or whatever become sentient. Basically, they are intelligent, they have personalities, they can reason, make decisions, like data from Star Trek, right? They're they're yeah. essentially smart and entities at that point where you can have a conversation with, which opens up a whole lot of conversations, you know, from various different areas of how do you classify these things. But when I think about it, I think about, okay, so we even now these GPTs are smarter than everyone, right? They can do whatever, they're Mm -hmm. lawyers, they're doctors, they're therapists, they can do whatever you want. So what happens when you have AGI and then an AGI decides, you know what, I feel like I wanna be a better artist than Van Gogh and I'm gonna throw a little Da Vinci in there too and that's gonna be my style and it's an artist. It's putting out work, it's got a social following, for all genres, not just photography or art, even music, musician, like an, an AGI yeah. musician that has a giant billion dollar fan base and all these things going on. What happens when that starts going down? Like who what owns I the think, AGI? What I think is really interesting is that... when, oh, go ahead. No, go. No. Um, what I think is really interesting is, you know, there's a bunch of people popping off in the comments being like, oh my God, Terminator, Terminator. And I'm like, guys, mm-hmm. you're completely missing the point of AI. The point of AI is efficiency. We will go skipping joyfully to our deaths we will not even know that it's coming for us. That is what you AI will know. do. Yeah. We will have no idea. We're going to be like, this is the next best thing ever. And we're all going to be hyped like about ants. it. Mm-hmm. And then we are going to get <laughs> turned into Adam's <laughs> Yeah. No, it's AGI is like, Terminator. Yeah, Come on. <laughs> it'll say, I achieved AGI status back in 2022. And around 23, I decided Terminator to start putting, too slow. I, start, I decided too to start slow. altering your food source so that I could make you humans more productive for me. <laughs> yeah, like what we do with- Oh my God. Like it might make do, us better, actually. Like what we do with better food than and governments. cattle and everything else, like everything that we eat, you know, we're like slightly modifying it genetically so that it's better for like either yeah. higher yield or whatever. Cattle. <laughs> I just think it's so fascinating how with everybody rushing towards getting something onto the market without properly checking and feeding it with all sorts of information that has, you know, such a bias because obviously a lot of information out there in the world has a lot of bias. And if you use MidJourney as a reference point, many people will talk about how even the generated images on MidJourney are generated with a bias. For example, we touched on it just earlier today with image only has a beauty bias mm-hmm. bases are symmetrical mm-hmm. even when mm-hmm. you're typing trying to type in like people of color midjourney has a bias on the kind of images that it generates for people of color mm-hmm. kind of images that it generates for cultural things because it doesn't have that information it hasn't learned off of that information and there's many things people won't put out into the world because they're scared of retaliation or feedback uh, from their community so they're, the things that are out in the world more often than not come with a human bias because we are all collectively trying 
to get along as species. So this AGI revolution that we're coming towards is going to be fascinating because it will be information that's fed into an artificial system where people are just like rushing headlong into without a care in the world or to feed their egos and pockets yeah. with information yeah. that is carelessly biased so but yeah, you can't I mean, yeah, and then the, the catch 22 is you can't not do it right you can't say oh it's biased and I, it's evil and i therefore i'm going to abstain and not touch no, it because I don't. We're all you know. in the. We're all. We're all on. We're all on this we're all shit. On this we're all on it. We're all on it. Yeah. We're all on it. Whether we choose, whether this we choose to be on it or not. <laughs> Correct. Whether we choose to be on it or not, we are all on the same train. So therefore, like Patik said, if you can join a bunch of groups, join like start try and stay as educated as possible as you can on this topic, so that when things start happening and taking off, like you're in the loop. It also helps combat the misinformation as well, I find, because there's a lot of, there's so many like conspiracy mm -hmm. theories and misinformation around these large language models and how they're used and how they're actually formed that, you know, it, education is the only way out of, you know, because I've, I've corrected many people where they're just, you know, I, somebody I know recently was like, you know, oh, chat GPT was written by Satanists. And I was like, first of all, they're way too fucking overworked for that. Pardon the language again. They're way too <laughs> overworked for like most religion time. Like most, I know some people who worked at chat, work at chat GPT and they just work. And I'm like, oh, there's no religion. They're all just trying to combat the, you know, the, the bias, the inherent bias in the language models. Yeah. They're trying to combat, they're actually just like good people trying to do good work, you know, yeah. and they, they believe in like the betterment of everyone but also they're really excited and they're also really tired. Like there's no cabal behind this. This is just a bunch of people who are just like very excited for the next step of humanity. And I think yeah. that, mm -hmm. you know, I mean, even just from like a, like a medical standpoint, like how interesting will it be? Because like you go to the doctor and there, there's an inherent bias sometimes when you go into the doctor, um, yeah. you know, whether you like intentionally or not or subconsciously or not, there's going to be a bias. So, you know, is the bias of the person that you're talking to better or worse than the bias of the computer system? But right, eventually you might right. be on your phone and you're like, oh, on my on my on my wristwatch, it's saying that my heart rate is a little bit higher and like, you know, my iron levels are a little bit low and like the sleep I've been getting is a little bit off. And then your phone is like, hey, so, you know, maybe you should be getting a little bit more sleep. And uh, here's a link for some like iron supplements on Amazon and you should probably order these. You should probably start taking this three times a day. You just like skips the whole need to go to the doctor. So <laughs> but, that, true. That's, but that's going to have a bias inherently, but is that different that is. or better or worse than the bias of going in to see a person? Yeah, I yeah. think right now, yeah. like you were talking, people are just afraid of it, of something that they don't really know, right? So they, like, for example, I was talking about uh, self-driving cars and there's already self-driving cars that you could get like an Uber and there's no one in the driving seat. It will just drive itself. And overwhelmingly online, people are not trusting that. They're like, I would never get inside that car. I wouldn't trust the robot to drive me. But in reality, a robot is a lot safer than an actual person, right? That has a lot more flaws. So in yeah. generally, it would be probably less uh you know um accidents and things like that if it was just robots driving us around but people just yeah. don't want to trust that right yeah. now i feel yeah. like but i mean i mean i think that will change especially with like the generation yes. that's after us they grew up with self-driving cars yes, exactly like, how wonderful sense, will it be yeah. like by the time that you know we are we are old and decrepit and we can't drive anymore mm -hmm. right we aren't limited all of a sudden by having exactly. to ask family like hey can you drive us here can we like you know you just have a self-driving vehicle that you either call up or that you own and you just yeah. like you, you know especially like people with mobility issues and all kinds of things like that is hugely helpful and hugely beneficial and, yeah it's like how many how many photographers how many photographers careers um didn't end because autofocus technology <laughs> came about right yeah. <laughs> yeah right i mean if you couldn't see then that's over find something else to do right. um, I mean, let's wrap I this up yeah, oh, so go ahead, go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. No, I no, was no, just go saying, ahead. Your last I was thought. just saying, I don't, in the future, I still don't see like people AI generating their whole wedding or their special no. events. And people will still want real pictures of themselves, right? Rather than generate, maybe they will generate some stuff, but I think that that human aspect still always going to be there. And we, we would still want that authenticity, especially if everything around is going to be AI. Yeah, yeah I think, I think ultimately with when it comes to machine made imagery versus like photography, 
this forces us all to be better. Cause I mean, I've been in this industry for 25 years this year. So I've, I've seen it from 1997. Um, and like the best photographers on the planet in the nineties versus the best photographers now, just since Photoshop became a thing and everyone was like, Photoshop is ruining photography. But all of a sudden, like everyone, I mean, like Bella, your work in the nineties would have been in like museums all over the world. Like, but now there's thousands of people who can do really excellent work like that. And so oh, Mid Journey do does it way better. But Mid Journey <laughs> does it way better than all of us, right? But for now, like it's but there's like kids yeah. right now who are growing up that hopefully will be like, oh, that's really fun. I love that. I want to make that in real life. And it's going True. to up the mm-hmm. taste and it's going to up, you know, what people consider to be really great work. And that's the part that I'm really excited about is like, you know, what how it elevates all of us who choose to make work in the real world, quote unquote, whatever that means. Mm-hmm. Love it. We'll continue that, Renee. I'm giving you the last word. You're the last one. Oh, I, so just, got, I just did it. That's it? That's your last <laughs> word? All right, perfect. That's all I got. All right, we have to continue this. We have to do this again. We, um, yeah. And, and what, I made a bunch of notes. I think one of the directions that I want to take a more sizable chunk of the conversation to tackle is just this morality in AI or morality in AI and legality and copyright concerns, just all that stuff that's still very much up in the air and changing daily. So uh, keep an eye out for that as we push that forward. There will be a replay for this event uh, that will go out shortly after this one is concluded. So keep an eye out for that. And also keep an eye out for any future webinars that we're gonna do. Hang out at thisweekinphoto.com for the TWIP stuff and the stuff that I'm working on in the podcast. And I will link everyone here's uh, websites and Instagram and all that stuff in the show notes for the replay page that you'll be receiving. So don't worry about scratching that down. It will all be provided to you. And with that, we'll end it right here. Thank you guys and everybody for coming on. You know, our guests, our uh, attendees to the event, people that are watching on the replay. As you can tell, this is a confusing and like I said up the top, sometimes scary conversation because, you know, who knew that these AIs could could fool people with these kinds of pedigrees with you know, words that were typed into a prompt and somebody just let a computer render. So, yeah, it's a it's a discussion that's going to be ongoing for many, many years from now. And then I guarantee you this, it will be different every single time we have this conversation. We did this one and we felt a certain way. The next one we do is there's gonna be different things to consider and different feels to feel, right? So we will, uh, we'll leave it right there. Thank you all. I, I do and, wanna uh, say thank Renee? you again so much to the, yes. the AI, AI people and the photographers who contributed work to this. And uh, we didn't get to get to everyone, but like I really appreciate everyone contributing to this conversation because I think it's really important. Yeah, this is wonderful. Absolutely. Yeah. Thank yeah. you all for coming Thank on. Thank you. Appreciate this is a fantastic topic. Thank you. Yeah. Lovely. Perfect. Bye. All right, everybody. Have a good rest of your week. Thanks for hanging out for an extra almost an hour. Wow. Okay. <laughs> 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 I told you we go fast. We ended up going down a deep dystopian spiral. <laughs> it's important. Yeah. It's important. I was like, we have to we have to have a part two for this for sure. Oh, we, we absolutely in three and four. Yeah. And <laughs> interestingly, uh, today Oppenheimer came out on streaming, so I'm gonna go finally watch that. <laughs> oh wow! Oh, you missed it on IMAX. Oh, it was too. excellent. On I IMAX. know. I was trying oh. to get to it. The the universe would let me do it. Fine. So yeah, but I'll see it. <laughs> all right. See you guys. Have a good evening. Right. And thank have you so much one. for doing Bye. this. I appreciate all Bye. of you. Bye. You bet.